and welcome again to Cottage Talk Full Media Buzz, the Silly Season Wednesday Update Birthday Edition. In this episode, we will be talking about the speculation involving Yunus Musa, Tosin, speculation involved Fulham and a Benfica player. And to end the show, we'll be talking once again about James Ward Pross. As always, please do subscribe on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. It does help other Fulham supporters find us. As I mentioned in a prior episode, today is my birthday, July 5th. So what better should I be doing on my birthday than doing a show? Yes, I'm going to do a show about Fulham Football Club, a club I love. So for the next 15 to 20 minutes, I'm going to be doing that. And I look forward to talking about all of these different situations that are in the press. Also want to mention, I'm going to just share a tweet that I sent out earlier because, again, it is my birthday. So, hey, I would like the club to make a signing or two. So I tweeted this out earlier. Okay, since it's my birthday, I'm pulling out all the stops. I said I want a signing on my birthday from Fulham. So come on, Fulham, sign Yunus Musa and Marco Silva today. Yes, I'm being greedy, but it's my birthday, so I'm entitled. So I tweeted that out earlier today. Just a funny little tweet to tweet out, but honestly, it's July 5th. I would like Fulham to make a signing or two, especially let's start this conversation by talking about Marco Silva. Talked about it on the last episode with Emilio, all the speculation in Saudi Arabia. We thought that might have been the end of it, but it now continues again from Saudi Arabia, having Marco linked to another club. So I get all this. I'm not taking this very seriously. I'm not. But until Marco signs a new deal, things are a little bit up in the air. I've said it time and time again. Marco, Tony and Shahid Khan, Alistair McIntosh, just get in a room, hammer out a deal, and make Marco comfortable that you are going to make the signings that are going to improve Fulham Football Club to a level that he wants. Please do that. Have a verbal agreement. doesn't have to be on paper. Have a verbal agreement that you're going to do this. So Marco will sign the actual agreement on paper to extend his contract with Fulham Football Club. I just see this as an issue. The longer he does not sign a new deal, I'm telling you, I just think players are going to be in this limbo. They're, they might not want to sign until he signs. So I think it's in everyone's best interest, including Marco, that he signs a new deal. But you're going to have to convince him, Tony and Shahid. You're going to have to convince him. It's not just going to be about the money, I think. It's also going to be about what you're going to give him to build the type of club we all want, including Marco and the cons. They want a first-rate team on the pitch. Give it to him. Give it to him. Do everything that you can. As I said, I'm pulling out all the stops. You need to pull out all the stops as well. So that's the way that I thought I would start the show. Now let's talk about the other part of that tweet, which is Yunus Musa. I've made this perfectly clear that I want Fulham to sign Yunus Musa. I think he is the perfect fit, the perfect fit for Fulham Football Club. There are many very good U.S. men's national team players I've had the pleasure of watching a good amount of Yunus Musa. I think he would be perfect playing that role next to Paulinha, not a replacement for Paulinha, the read role. He would be perfect. In fact, as I said to Emilio, everything that he wants in that Harrison Reed role that Harrison Reed isn't giving Emilio, I think Yunus Musa offers. He is dynamic. Make this happen. Make this happen, but I have my doubts that it's going to happen. So I'm going to share this article. And it's according to Hamian.com, Musa is Silva's main interest. So I'm going to read from the article from Chloe White that was just posted today. Former set to challenge AC Milan and Juventus for the signature of Valencia midfielder Yunus Musa, according to reports from Italy. Tuto Juve reports that Marco Silva has made the American international his main request during the summer transfer window as he seeks to reshape Fulham's midfield after the Whites finished 10th on their return to the top flight. 
while the Serie A sides have balked at Valencia's 16 million pound asking price, Fulman reportedly indicated that they're willing to offer the money up front in order to land the combative midfielder who impressed during USA's World Cup campaign in Qatar last winter. Okay, I'll stop there. So I've made it known my thoughts on this. I do have my doubts that this is going to happen. You have a couple of Italian giants coming in for him. There was a report that he might be interested in one of them. I understand that. But if I'm full, I go the extra yard here. I try to make this happen. I just think that this makes too much sense for Fulham Football Club. I also think it makes perfect sense for Eunice Musa. I think he would thrive playing under Marco Silva and also playing with a couple of U.S. men's national teammates. I think this would work. I really do. I think this would be a good fit. But the question is, will he want to come to Fulham? I don't know. I really don't know. I, I have my doubts on that. I, I, I hope I'm wrong on this because I think that he would be a good fit. We'll see how this all plays out. I'm not holding out my breath on this because uh, I think that Fulham need to do more to get Yunus Musa. I, I think that they need to do whatever it takes to bring in this player. Well, I shouldn't say whatever it takes, but just go further than they've gone now. Make this happen because I think he would be fantastic at Fulham Football Club. That's the first story. Second story. Let's talk again, once again, about Tosin. And all these stories are going to be from Hamian.com. So again, according to Hamian.com, Tottenham targeting Tosin. So I'm going to read this story that was reported yesterday, was posted by my friend Dan Crawford. So here it is. Tottenham are poised to make their move for Fulham centre-back Tosin Adrabayu in the next few days. According to various reports, Foot Mercado claims that Spurs have already signed out Adderbao's agents and are confident they can snare the former Manchester City defender for a knockdown price now that he's entered the final year of his Craven Cottage contact and told Fulham that he's not interested in signing another one. Okay, I'm going to stop there. A couple things. I believe the speculation. I believe that Tottenham Hotspur are interested in Tosin. Here's the thing on this. I'm not giving them a cut right price here. I'm hoping that other clubs are interested, that it starts a little bit of a bidding war. If I'm Tony Khan, Alistair McIntosh, I'm not giving Tottenham Hotspur any break. Absolutely not. With all the dealings that we've done with them, absolutely not. No way at all. I'm asking for a good amount of money for Tosin. And I'm sure that there are going to be other clubs that are going to be looking at Tosin. So I'm going to hold out. If Tottenham Hotspur want a low ball Fulham, tell them to go pound sand. Absolutely not. Fulham need, in my opinion, between 15 to 20 million pounds for Tosin. You get a deal like that, then you go ahead. I understand he's in the last year of his deal. But I think there are going to be a couple teams in from that. That's the reason why I'm going to be sticking to between 15 to 20 million pounds. I'm not giving them a bargain. No way. Absolutely not. I'm not doing that for Tottenham Hotspur. They wouldn't do it for Fulham. I'm not doing it for them. That's what I would do. I buy that they're looking for a deal, but I'm not giving them one. I hope Fulham don't do this because they need to really make a statement here. And uh, this is an asset. I know he's in the last year of his deal, but they need to get as much as they can for Tosin. And uh, I'm ready to move on from Tosin, but I'm not giving him away for free. I'm not giving him away for a bargain. Absolutely not. No way there. If Tottenham want to pay a fair market rate for him, then go ahead. If they're looking for a bargain, no Tottenham. Go somewhere else. Okay. So coming up next to end this show, I'm going to be talking about some speculation with phone link to a player at Benfica, and I'll end the show talking about some more speculation with James Ward Press. Okay, so the second half of the show, I have two more stories I'm going to share. And let's start with one that has phone linked to a player with Benfica. I'm actually a big fan of Benfica. I think they have a very good side. I, they really impressed me last summer. So I'm going to share this story again from Chloe White. This is a post yesterday from hamian.com. 
Benfica reject Fulham's Murado offer. Fulham have seen their opening offer for Benfica defender Murato rejected according to reports on July the 4th. Brazilian journalist Bruno Andrade revealed that the Whites have tabled a bid around £8.6 million for the Brazilian-born center back who moved from Sao Paulo to the Eagles in September 2019. Benfica immediately rejected Fulham's offer and insisted that the 22-year-old was not for sale, pointing the Premier League side to Murato's release clause of £43 million. Given that Benfica are willing to negotiate over a proposed deal, it remains to be seen whether the Whites will return with an increased offer or pursue other targets instead. Interesting stuff. I also saw a report that they might be coming in with another offer for Murato, but he's just one of several that Fulham are looking at in regards to center back. There are two others, and we're going to have to see how this all plays out. I wouldn't be holding my breath that Fulham are going to go up to 43 million pounds for the release clause. They're not going to do that. I can't see Fulham doing that. But what they have done, we've seen speculation with Fulham linked to multiple center backs. If they can't get this one, they're just going to go on to the next one. So this probably isn't going to happen. It'll matter how badly Fulham want Morato. If they don't want him that badly, they're just going to move on to the next target. That's just the way that it's going to go. I buy the speculation. I just don't know how far Fulham are going to go to try to get Morato, especially if Benfica are holding out for that release clause. They're not going to do that. I, In my opinion, Fulham are just not going to go that far for this player. And like I said, there's other speculation with Fulham with other center backs. So um, we'll have to see how this all plays out. I, I actually think Fulham need two center backs. I wouldn't mind them going after a player of this quality. I just don't see that Fulham are going to be able to make that happen. Okay. So now let's end the show talking about James Ward-Prowse once again. This actually comes from a couple of days ago, and it is also from Chloe White on handyn.com. Her article is entitled, Fulham Still Want Ward Press. So here's from uh, Chloe's article on handman.com. Fulham are still keen on signing Southampton skipper James Ward Press, but are waiting for the South Coast Club to drop their asking price, according to a Daily Mail report on July the 3rd. The England International is apparently interested in a potential move to Craven Cottage, having played with Harrison Reed at St. Mary's and been nurtured into first-team football by Hugh Jennings and Steve Wigley before the pair joined Fulham's academy setup. Okay, so just going to end there. So here's another player that I would like Fulham to bring in. If it is true and James ward Pross is interested in Fulham, you make this happen. But I have a feeling that Southampton's price is much higher than what has been reported with Fulham offering, say, between 30 to $35 million. Can they meet somewhere in the middle? Maybe, but he's also 28 years old, going to be 29. So you don't want to extend yourself too much, but I would try to find a happy medium here. I think this is a player that uh, would be a great asset for Fulham Football Club. I've seen reports Fulham are also interested in Fred. So what we're seeing is speculation Fulham being linked to several central midfielders and it might not be Fred. It might be James Ward Press. I can imagine it's both, but who knows? I like the fact that they're linked to quality players like Fred and James Ward Press. I would love to see James Ward Press in a Fulham football club. I would also like to see Musa. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It's not going to be all three, as I mentioned with Fred, but I'd like to see two out of the three. I think Fulham need to upgrade. And the fact that they're linked to all these quality players is extremely encouraging. We'll see if they actually get any of them in, but I'd like to see them get two out of the three in. If I have to settle for one, I'll take one. But you know what? I want them to get these high-quality targets. As I mentioned before, I am very confident that Fulham are going to spend a significant amount of money this season. I I truly believe that. And uh, we'll see if they turn 
my beliefs into reality by the end of the window. But I think Fulham are going to upgrade in several places. And I think they're going to eventually get the players that Marco Silva wants. And that's the key for me. But Marco, at the beginning of the show, still needs to sign the new deal. It will certainly help Fulham bring in these players. Because I think players want to know that the manager is going to be sticking around for a while. I want James ward Press. I want Musa. I wouldn't be against Fred, too. But we shall see what ends up happening. Okay. Before I wrap up this birthday edition of the Silly Season Wednesday update, just want to mention something I mentioned in the last show, and you'll see more about this. If for some reason you are going to the summer series of Sam Fulham play Brentford on that Sunday in Philadelphia, I will actually be along with Max Cohen at an event by Fulhamish. We're going to be part of their show. It's really exciting. On that Saturday at 1.15 at a place called Milk Boy Philly. I've actually posted this on the Cottage Talk Facebook page. I tweeted this out. It's on the Fulhamish website as well. There is a link to tickets for this if you're interested. Would love for you to come down, meet Max and myself. Of course, Sammy and George from Fulhamish as well. It's really going to be fun. Two members of Fulhamish, two members of Connors Talk on the same stage for a live podcast. It should be fun. If you're going to be in Philly the day before, please do join us. And like I said, information is right on the Fulhamish website on how to get tickets. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Connors Talk. As always, my name is Russ Goldman. Thank you as always for watching and listening to Connors Talk, part of the Talk Sport Fan Network.